Hello, guys. Good evening. Can you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Hey, how's, how's it going? Yes, okay. Great. Great to hear that. So welcome. I can see we are four people connected, including myself. So we have Joel, Evelyn, and also Francisco, right? So welcome. Uh, today is uh, session number 11, I think. We're going to continue with uh, section four. Okay, um, yesterday we talked about a new topic, maybe that, not that new. We talked about past continuous and also uh, simple past, right? And I assigned an activity which was um, based on one of you question about pronunciation. I don't know if you had the chance to do it. Some ideas, I remember somebody uh, sent you know some ideas on the chat on the whatsapp chat maybe not right Now we are five plus me, six connected, but I can see that maybe we didn't or you didn't have time to do this activity. And um, well, no problem. That was something additional to this class. Just in case you wanted to share, that would have been nice. However, um, since we don't have, I think anything I can say, we are going to move on. So yesterday we were talking about simple past and past continuous, and today we're going to continue working on that. Okay, so basically, the lesson objective is um, past continuous versus simple past. Okay, but we're going to do this using stories. Okay, and I want to uh, start this class with this activity. Uh, this is a story, and um, I would love to hear you participating in completing these ideas, okay? As you can see here, we have a dog on the road, which is the name of the story. And um, I want you to think about which is the best complement for the story. We have some verbs which are in parentheses in here. And I want you to please use it either in past continuous or simple past. So that's basically it. I'm going to give you some time for you to think about it and we're going to start sharing it. Okay. So the story starts like this. Every day, James uh, Lullaby travels to London. So that's the way it starts. Then we have our first lines in here. And I don't know if there is anyone from of you who would like to participate and start with the first sentence applying simple past and past continuous. Me, teacher. I have two participants. We're going to listen to Joel and then we're going to continue to listen to Emma. Thank you, Joel. The first sentence, the whole sentence. The yes, whole, okay. The whole sentence. Okay. Yes. Okay. Every day, James Lullaby travels to London. Yesterday, he was driving his car when he saw a dog in the middle of the road. Thank you so much. That will be correct, exactly. Driving and so. Emma, what about the next one? The dog was crashing the car closely when it appears. appeared. Thank you so much. Yeah, got it. When it appeared. Good. What about the next one? Let's see. Now we are seven, A connected. One more volunteer. All right, so I'm going to choose one from the eight we are here. Let's see. Okay, can I try? Please. Um, James ahead. stopped and got up for his car carefully. Okay. Thank you so much. As you can see, you said both simple pass. Awesome. So what about the next one? 
Any other volunteer? As he, let's see. Uh, go ahead, please, Francisco, as he. Uh, as he um, got out, the dog ran away from him. Hmm, okay, let's see. Anybody else who would like to uh, try this one or do you guys agree with uh, Francisco's uh, participation? Do you remember what we said about after? Uh -huh. uh, as he got out, the dog was running away from him. Okay, thank you so much. So we have the same answer from these two participations. Um, so yes, Joel. Uh, could it be as he was getting out, the dog ran away from him? Exactly. Why that, that would be correct? Because it is also recommended, it's strongly recommended that we use past continuous when we have as. So, in this case, we have as he was getting out. Exactly. Good. Thank you so much. Next one, number eight. Let's see, Gustavo. Uh, while he was getting in the car, the dogs approached it again. Thank you so much. That is correct. Next one. Uh, back to you, Emma. and sat down in the middle of the road. Sat down, in, okay, in the middle of the road. Let's continue, Joel, please. Wait a minute. No problem. So, Jeffrey, let's continue, please. And then we're gonna give, uh, so you start here, James, please. James started the engine, but the dog uh, didn't move in. Hmm, the dog didn't, and then what did you say? Didn't uh, move in. Okay, very close. The first one is okay. Yes, well. I'm not sure about the, the past of seat. I, I'm not sure if it is and sat, sat down. Yeah. Or yeah. It just remain the same, sit. Sat. I'm not sure. Sat okay. is the and one. Sat, and sat down in the middle of the room. Thank you so much. And then uh, we have Jeffrey saying James started the, the engine, but the dog didn't. After didn't, what do we use? Didn't move. We do not say moving, right? So that's basically it. I have two hands up. Let's continue. I think Emma. Emma and Joel. Would, okay, Emma. Thank you. Continue, please. James. Yes. But uh, James is. James starts the. Start. Started the engine, but the dog didn't move. Okay. And next one, please. Continue. James. James was jumping out of the car in what's the pass of jump it's, it's with T sound. Is is regular. It's T sound, yes. It's okay, James jumped out of the car and the pass of shoot. I know that it, this is irregular, but I don't remember the past of that year. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. This is uh, jumped, jumped with T sound, jumped. And then we say James jumped out of the car. And what is the past of this? What is the past of the next verb? Sure. The next one? Uh huh. Okay, what is the past? Is it? What is the past of, of the next one? 
So if we have here, we have, um, let's see, we have James jumped out of the car and we have shout, but the shout is the, um, what do you call shout is the um, present. How about the past? How do we say it if this is a uh, regular verse? How do we say it? Show them. Shouted. Shout it. Shout it. Very good. Shout it. Okay. Um, so how do we say it then? Anybody can provide me with the full, full like sentence now. James jumped at the car and showed it at the dog. Okay, very good. Uh, then let's see. Next one, please. One more volunteer. For the next one. Any other? Okay. The mm -hmm. dog was barking at him and started to run. All right. So the dog was barking at him and decided to run. Very good. And the last one, who wants to uh, help me out with the last one here? Mommy, teacher. You? James, James was following the dog while it ran in front of him. Um, so we have James was following the dog while it ran in front of him. Do we have the scene? Do you guys agree with this uh, participation of Evelyn? Anybody? Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> James followed the dog while it was running in front of him. Right. Remember that we have, um, after a while, we need to use the the past continuous. So just uh, you know, simple change on your idea, especially because one idea is the longest and one is the shortest in this case. So James followed the dog while it was running in front of him, okay? So that will be it. And then let's move on. The next one, the next one is this one. Let's finish the, uh, the story. Le let me ask another volunteer, maybe Francisco, help us please. Not that volunteer, so Francisco, suddenly, um, suddenly, he saw two girls lying on the grass. I don't know the pronunciation. Is that correct? It's grass, yes. Okay, grass. Mm -hmm. They... I don't know the past. Bleeded, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. They bleeded James. Okay, so the idea ends in this verb, bleed. So how do we say it? Uh, can you say it one more time, please? Suddenly and stop until the, the period after bleed. How okay. do you, uh -huh. please say it again. Okay, suddenly he saw two girls lying on the grass. They bleeded. Okay. I see. Any other opinion? Oh, do you guys agree with Francisco on this one? Suddenly he, he saw two girls lying on the grass, period. And then what do you guys think? They were bleeding. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, the action here, Francisco in class, the second action, it makes more sense if we picture the story and the action as at the moment, at that moment is in progress. So suddenly he saw two girls lying on the grass, they were bleeding, you know, that was happening, right? They were bleeding, you know, you imagine, you picture this, this scene. And let's finish this, uh, Francisco, I want you to try one more time, please, James. James was taken or took? What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Well, thank you. Do you guys agree with that? Okay, Joel. James took took out his mobile phone and you know. Okay, and how do you complete the idea? I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No problem. Let's see, Emma, what do you what do you think? James took out his mobile phone or and I think it's in made an emergency call. Exactly. I agree with that. Just try to picture this scene. Uh, James took out his mobile phone and made an emergency call. Yes. Um I would say, guys, if you take a if you take a closer look to this uh, structure, we have the this this um, preposition right here, um, and it's connecting two ideas that are one after the other ones. Okay, so basically, we say he took it out and then he made the the, uh, the emergency call. So is there's no uh, activities happening at the same time, okay? They, they aren't simultaneous. So basically, in this case, we have two past actions, simple past. And let's finish this one. Let's see, maybe uh, Gustavo, can you, can you please com complete the story with the last two missing as he? Okay, Doggy says, say, James, where, where is the nearest post? Okay, thank you. But what about the previous one, Gustavo? As he. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. As he was trying to call. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm, I'm not sure. As he tried to call the emergency. He was noticing that there was no signal. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. I see. Do we have a, another opinion on this one? Thank you so much, Joel. He was trying to make, to call the emergency. He noticed that there was no signal. Uh -huh. Good. Exactly. Remember, guys, that after us, we recommend using past continuous. So we say, as he, as Joel said it, as he was trying to, to call the emergency, he noticed there, that there was no signal. Okay, that's basically it. And then we have what Gustavo already said. Okay, Doi, said James. Where is the nearest hospital? Okay, we finished this. Guys, I'm going to give you some time because I want you to please start thinking um, how we can use these um, structures in the past. And I would say the best way to do it is by uh, telling stories, but we're gonna change a little bit on, on the way we tell stories because I want you to think about real stories and real stories aren't like what aren't simple stories, they are called anecdotes. So I want to work on two anecdotes. I really hope we have enough time to work on this. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna give you some time because I want you to please start writing about the next anecdote. Actually, I have three, three prepared for today, but I'm expecting to work maybe on the, on the first two ones today. And I want you to follow the structures, especially these um, what um, questions and answer them and then you're going to complete it. This is the first one. Hold on, this is, these are the answers. This is the first one. Um, first anecdote about you, of course, right? Let me read it for you guys, hold on. It says, think of a good party that you've been to or, or one that was a disaster. So it can be either way, a good party or a disaster one. And you're gonna tell your partner about it, okay? Choose from the list the things you want to talk about. Uh, think about why, what you will say and what vocabulary you will need, okay? This is in the past. 
whose party was it? What was the occasion? Do you take a gift for the host? Uh, who do you go with? Um, where was the party? Were there any decorations? Were there a lot of people there? Uh, did you know most of the people there? What kind of food and drink did you have? Uh, what was the music like? Did you meet anybody nice there? What time did it finish? And you said until the end. So we have 13 questions here for you to like start talking as, as much as possible. And the purpose is to use simple paths, okay? And if you can mix with uh, past continuous, it will be great. So I'm gonna give you as of now, like five minutes for you to start brainstorming some, some ideas, and then you're gonna start talking, okay? So start working on that right now, or I don't know if you have any questions of, about what you're gonna be working on. Okay, yeah, tell me. Basically, we're going to answer those questions using the structures you gave us, the past, past, past progressive and past, perfect, past, yeah, perfect, right? Simple past, right. Simple, okay. Try to use um, these structures, right? And especially simple past and past continuous. If you can uh, think of sentences where you can mix them up, for example, I was um, listening to my favorite song at the party when somebody stopped it. I couldn't finish listening to it. Try to uh, picture this scene and maybe you will need to add up some more information, but uh, try to make it as real as possible, okay? So, um, all, right. all right, let's work on that. Let's take five minutes before I, I you know, send you guys to the groups and you start working and telling your partner. Okay, let's take two more minutes and uh, maybe just have like brief ideas about it. And if you don't have anything written down, maybe you can improvise it, but then challenge yourself, challenge it. 
so you can keep the conversation you know going while describing it it's going to be like a story you're going to be saying to your partner All right, so in this case, guys, I'm going to start cause time like flies. I have given you like four minutes as of now. And we are, let's see, we are here like nine people. So in case somebody's not here to speak, I'm gonna make groups of uh, three and you start talking. I'm gonna be, you know, stopping by to check on what you're doing. Please uh, make sure you take advantage of the time and you speak, okay? If you don't feel like um, maybe participating, uh, at, at least uh, be there to listen to your to your classmates. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three minutes, maybe one minute per each participation, so you, so you can speak as much as possible. So here we go. Let's see three uh, groups of three and start speaking. If nobody speaks in your group, please be the one who takes the lead and start speaking. Okay, here we go.
being in a party this, this yeah, last day. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that my life, my, my last party was when I was uh, in high school. And now, Hi. You are there? Go ahead. So, so when when you finish to to walk in the in the space, they they down, I don't know, they put up. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> but well they Just waiting for the other ones to come back. Oh, they're coming, okay. So thank you so much for uh, practicing, guys. You know, I went by to listen to some of you and I heard you speaking. And, but since we are nine, well, 10, so this is nine, yeah, nine. I want to hear some of you to share because um, I know when we want to speak and tell stories sometimes, you know, we really want to maybe look for those specific ideas which will transmit the idea, which will uh, describe or express what we want to say. So who wants to share an idea of what you talked in the rooms? So now everybody can listen to it. We have uh, any volunteer or should I choose one? 
I want to hear at least two or three. Try, right? This is a good exercise for speaking in the past. I heard somebody was saying I haven't I haven't had anybody lately. But then uh, try, try to recall one you had in the past. The purpose is that you think about past actions. Okay, anybody? Okay, parkour está bueno. Daniel. Hola, teacher. Go ahead, Daniel. We want to hear you. Come on. <laughs> Tenía abierto el micrófono. Hijo de pucha, que la regué. Va. Okay, in my case, uh... We, uh, um, I talk with my partner, um, the last party uh, of the work. Uh, we went to we went to the Tesoro Beach uh, for the end 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 party of the year, and then uh, when we. We were so happy with a lot of beer uh, in this place. Uh, in this place, was celebrate. Estaban celebrando uh, one wedding, and when we stay so happy. Uh, El, el, fuimos a, a meternos a bailar la boda. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Sí, uh, yes, 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 we are, we were so crazy in this moment. <laughs> I see. So after a couple of beers, <laughs> and then ah, yes, 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 couple of beers, and I don't remember my name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, uh, so, but you didn't know anybody from this wedding. It was completely strange. Strange, completely strange. Yes, yes, completely strange. I see. So when, when, when with, with uh, some beers, everybody are friends. <laughs> simply, simply like you don't care what's, what's the consequence. Okay, I can see. Yeah, I think, um, well, I, I just can't imagine the, the scene, you know, the experience there. And, but if you are like maybe not that drunk, you can socialize. But the problem is when you are like maybe uh, you have exceeded, you know, uh, your drinking limits and that's a problem, right? But then if you can manage to maintain, you know, an accepted behavior. So I think everything will go well, goes well. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing, okay? Thank you so much. I want to hear more uh, stories. Thank you, Daniel. Anybody else? Let's see my story. <laughs> okay, oh, well, I want to listen to it. Come on, go for it. Okay. Um, it was my beautiful day party, and my co-workers and I were working as usual in the building, but then when the night arrived, we went to the Chapultepec bar uh, located in Metro Centro, you know, and we were having a good time there. Uh, we drank a lot of delicious drinks, but my friend Veronica was feeling bad and she went to the bathroom alone where she fell because she was too drunk to walk. And it was funny. We laughed uh, a lot the following day. And, you know, the party took place there and there were amazing music. We were dancing the rest of the night until we realized it was late at night and my friend Leonel drove me home and that's it. It was a, a funny night. It was my birthday party. I see. Thank you. I can see, man. Come on, we should join, guys. <laughs> we should meet. <laughs> okay, that was really good. I like the way you express it. That was really fluent and, you know, Great, great. Uh, thank you so much for sharing those nice stories. Tell us your body. <laughs> and I got many, you know, I'm 32 years old. I got some, I used to work in a call center and you might imagine life in call centers, but then that's the past. I wanna hear your stories. Okay, go ahead, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. Tell us your 
now that you are at the university, I know university time is, is really good. Uh, so what can you tell us about it last year? Uh, okay. Uh, my story, uh, my party story, uh, it was in 2019 year. And I was telling to Daniel and, and Gustavo uh, that my story was in Cifco when Cifco still was uh, where actually is the hospital. And then in my, I, I, start, I started to study in one university and then I changed to another university. Uh, but the story is that uh, it was the Halloween party and the Halloween party in Cifco there were many parties and then in the same time it was uh, sorry where the party of my university and the party of my last university and then I have friends in in about university and then in the party I paid the party of my university and then I was when I how do you say Sally when, when left get, get off or okay. how do you say it? and then when I get off of the party I saw to my other friend of the other university and then I paid the other party but the the party where at the same time uh, I, I was uh, going from the first party and then to another party and changing at the same time and then and finally I I get to get close my friend of the Bouch University and <laughs> we finally uh, I remember that we went to the El Puerto at the morning and it was my story so that was that was like you really let the dogs out that night <laughs> okay so great i can see you guys have many things to say in regards of your experiences uh well in the past and thank you so much for sharing i can see jeffrey paid uh two i don't know uh, maybe uh, parties or admissions but at the end you end up and you end up enjoying i think and it's it's great to have a lot of friends especially when everybody you know comes around and you start having a great time but with responsibility right uh, so if you drink don't drive they say you know so i have heard two stories and maybe there's one more who wants to share stories like this and why do we do this? Because when we are telling stories, we really like uh, want to think how we can express it, how we can be very like um, explicit on our ideas or maybe very detailed in our ideas. And that's a challenge. So I want to hear one more. Anybody, I have heard two boys, maybe one girl would be good. Anybody, I have... I have, let's see, do I have girls? Yes, Emma, Jessica, Evelyn. So who wants to go for it? Who wants to try? Complete silence. Boys, anybody else? Okay. No problem. I still have one other and I want you, want you to speak. This time we're going to listen to more, some others, okay? And this is the next one. I like this one a lot because it's, it, it has to do with parties, but this time we're going to think about holidays, okay? And think about a holiday when you were a child. I think everybody in here is already over 18, I think. Or I don't know if Emma is, is younger than than it than this age but uh, think about when you were a child this time you're going to tell about these questions we have uh, 12 questions 
first one is, what was the name of your holiday destination? Think about this. Uh, where exactly is it? Was it far from where you lived? Um, did you often go to the same place for your family holiday? Who went with you? Okay, and how do you travel? What do you do to pass your time in your journey? Okay, how long did it take to get there? How do you spend your time there? And have you ever uh, been back there since you were a child? And how was the place, uh, or how has the place changed over years? So uh, maybe you want to screenshot these questions and because we don't have much time, I'm gonna send you like now and I start thinking, you know, how you can be answered to each of these questions before maybe writing anything down. So this is a little bit more challenging because you have no time. Only think about the holiday destination in, as family and start speaking. Please speak. Uh, challenge yourself on this activity. I'm, I'm telling you this because I know sometimes it becomes a little bit uh, difficult to start, you know, speaking and thinking, how can I say this or how can I say that? And I'm going to create the groups in a different way. Let's see, I'm going to change uh, partners. Hopefully you won't have the same uh, group. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So speak. I'm going to be, you know, checking on the rooms to see if you guys are really speaking. Anyway, 
This when, meeting is being recorded. When I wake up, woke up, we were in in the beach dish, and I don't like the beach, but I didn't have another option. We were we were there. And Samuel is too hot, so well, it's you know, it's, you know, Samuel, yeah, better, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, well, it's like even, a big change, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes. Did you, did you often go to the same place for your family holidays? In my case, the, no, no, every time we go with my brother, with my Maybe you didn't have enough time to complete your uh, stories. I, I heard some of you maybe just answering the first questions, but let wait for the other ones to, to come back. Here they come. Okay. So thank you so much, guys, for, you know, practicing your English. I heard, um, I think it was not enough time because there are many things that we can talk about these. I know there are 12 questions and like in two or three minutes is, is just little. Then I want to hear you speaking, you know? So anybody who hasn't participated that would like to share, we have like maybe two or three minutes, anybody? speak your English and express your ideas. I know Jeffrey already participated. I know Joel also did it, Daniel did it. What about the other ones? Holidays when you were a child. You don't remember? Yeah, you do. I still remember some of things that crazy ones sometimes. Anybody, one or, or maybe we're, huh? So, uh, well, I was talking with, with, with Matt about, uh, I remember when I was maybe six or, yes, I think six, six years old for Christmas, and now came to visit from USA, and he visited us, he invited us to, to her husband's family, who live in, in Chalatenango. 
uh, in a town called Dulce Nombre de Jesus. We stayed there for three days, maybe. Uh, but I remember that that uh, that thing because it was the first time I feel the real cold because I am from San Miguel and I have never been out from San Miguel for, for sleep or for stay uh, 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 for one or two days because when we wake up to to take a bath that was horrible the water was so cold and i remember i i don't have a good remember about that okay no not not good memories not <laughs> good memories <laughs> I okay. feel the real cold for the first time. Okay. And how old were you at that time? Maybe at six years old. Maybe. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you're from San Miguel? Yeah. Oh, you see, you are in the other side. <laughs> I, I, I am in Cincinnati, you're in San Miguel. This is crazy, but I love technology. Yeah. Yep. And the weather in San Miguel? it's not it's not so cold i imagine i imagine yeah and um yeah chalatenango right is one of the coldest places especially in, in the highest areas okay yeah i can see so thank you for uh remember uh remembering this and also for sharing gustavo guys um if you have some questions about the platform Please, tomorrow we're gonna to start with this, okay? Because as of now, we, we just practice the English we had and I'm gonna to ask tomorrow, maybe for some of you to kind of like share, you know, some of, some of your anecdotes based on these two ideas that we just had, because I would love to hear some of you who haven't participated. So please prepare something uh, if you haven't participated and then tomorrow you want to start sharing. And then if you have questions about the platform, we can see them tomorrow, okay? So have a good one, guys. Uh, try to rest and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.